Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick little love spread for June 2018. We'll start with the stones and then we'll jump into the cards real quick. Off bat, right off, I see a lot of you guys are off balance, like um, you're up and down in regards to love making solid decisions is not what you're doing your ego is is taking precedence here it's you know you're completely isolated in regards to um a love situation some of you having money problems and, and which is causing the emotional imbalance instability i guess You to, to be truthful about how you feel. You, some of you are dealing with two people. You feel more grounded with one person than with the other. I would not say that the love is greater for another than the other. I mean, you love them for two different reasons. Pretty much money is highlighted here. It's, it's scarce. You're doing a lot of different things. You got some investments. You're waiting on some payout, some legal issue. You're just trying to find balance here. You don't have it. Okay. Okay, so let's see what the tarot cards have to say. That's the situation. Oh. And we have the challenge. I have the guidance. Oh, I have shuffled and prayed over these cards off camera in case anyone is concerned about that. Your focus and the outcome. Bottom of the deck, the hangman. Some of you dealing with a Pisces, or you're just really stuck. You're waiting. All right, the situation is judgment call, second chances, looking at something from a new set of. A new set of eyes and an, another way of looking at it, another perspective. Something has come back around. You've got to make a final judgment call here. Okay, and the challenge is the high priestess. Sometimes th this is Aquarius, you know. Sometimes Aquarius can come up as the high priestess. The challenge is listening to spirits. Some of you just won't. Spirit's been kicking your butt with these messages from the universe. You just you just keep discarding them. You're just like, oh, well, nope, not that. No, no, no. <laughs> not going to do that. Um, judgment. I mean, the call in High Priestess. It says, spirit, spirit, spirit. I'm bringing something back around for you to judge it correctly. Look at it differently this time is what it's saying. All right, the guidance. Yeah, eight of air. Um, come out of your head in this situation. You're definitely stuck in your head. You don't see a way out. You don't see a way in. You just, it's just, I'm here. I'm comfortable being, knowing that this situation is going to turn out the same. I don't see a way that it's going to turn out in my favor. Come out of the eight of air, the eight of swords. Um, the focus the two of fire because you have to make a decision you have to go you could have two very you're already in something with somebody but then there's another way you can go there's another path there's somebody else could be a fire sign aries sagittarius leo this is about actually um a fork in a row you have to make that judgment call which way are you going are you staying or are you going uh the outcome 
the seven of water, more confusion, emotional confusion, illusionment, uh, illusions and disillusionment, uh, the cheating spouse. Someone who makes promises just to break them. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's the outcome. Some of you are just going to be further emotionally confused because you won't listen to spirit. Let's see. One additional support card. Be true to you. Self-employment is highlighted. Yeah, looks like money was an issue in the in stones. Be true to you. I think Aquarius knows who and what they want, but it's scary with that person because you had a past with them and it wasn't so great, okay? All right, so if this resonated with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Find me on uh, different platforms, Instago, Instagram. You can fund the page at the GoFundMe link. You can go to my website and book a reading. Take advantage of the $20.22 question readings, okay? Thank you. Remember to stay in prayer. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Bye.